The one with Barry and Mindy's wedding is one of the most iconic Friends episodes and there are quite a few turning points in this. This is the 24th and final episode of the second season of Friends directed by Michael Lembeck and there will be spoilers from this point onwards. I won't spoil anything that happens in future episodes just in case you're quite new to Friends and haven't seen beyond this point but absolutely there will be spoilers for this and I will leave the wedding discussion um, for a moment because I feel like that's obviously the biggest part of this episode, but I'll discuss the other narratives first. And we have one involving Joey. Joey's uh, up for this part, but he has to kiss a guy and he's very nervous about this. And we get the kiss between Joey and Phoebe. And obviously because it's not a romantic kiss, it's not as big as, say, when Ross and Rachel first kissed, but it's still pretty pretty awesome that two of the main characters kissed i think it's fabulous and i really liked how that part of the narrative played out i feel like it provided i was gonna say it provided comic relief but actually most of the episode is actually funny it's, it's quite high up for most of the episode but there are a couple of times when things get maybe a little bit emotional and then in comes joey's part of the narrative and it was a nice way to include joey in this as well and phoebe because neither joey nor phoebe have a prominent role to play in this. Chandler, however, does have quite an important story. He's online dating, talking to this woman, and he, he's fallen for her, and they get on really well, but he's never met her. And Phoebe starts to kind of push him to find out more about her, and of course, at the end of the episode, there's the big reveal, and as I said, big spoilers here, but of course, it's revealed to be Janice, and I think they gave nothing away. They absolutely did not give the game away at any point. I don't think anybody would have ever suspected it was Janice. And it was uh, it was just rather awesome. And I think it's another... It, it, it is a big turning point because of what happens. And it's obviously very unclear what's going to happen between Chandler and, and Janice. And obviously I can't say anymore. Because I don't want to spoil what happens in the next season. But I think it's pretty great. We do have one narrative or one part of the narrative that's maybe a little bit more emotional and it's the discussions between Monica and Richard regarding having a child. And Monica really wants a baby, Richard being much older, has already done the baby thing, really doesn't want to go through it again. And I will say having this discussion in a wedding didn't seem like the most sensible thing to do, but I suppose there's no right time to decide that actually you don't want to be together because one of you wants a child and you know credit to Richard for agreeing or for saying he would do it if he had to but I think Monica had the right attitude in saying that she only wants to have a child with somebody who wants to I can't imagine what it would feel like if you had a child and you knew that that child's other parent only did it for you and they didn't actually want that child and if that child ever found that out as well that's that's got to be pretty tough so it was difficult to watch because I like Richard. I really like Richard. I think Tom Selleck brought something really great to Friends. But it's not a conversation that was easy to watch. But I think it was it was moving and, and very, very well done. And obviously the big one, Barry and Mindy's wedding. Rachel's dress is easily one of the most iconic Friends costumes ever. It's just hideous and gorgeous at the same time. I love the colour. I think it's pretty mean to put your bridesmaids in that dress and your maid of honour, but at the same time, it was uh, it stands out. It's very, very memorable. And Ross's speech, actually, when Ross stood up for Rachel and said that actually she didn't have syphilis, I thought was, was very moving. And it kind of did make me wonder. I wonder how many people tell lies about why their relative was was left at the altar because you're going to want to save face as much as possible. But it wasn't an acceptable lie to tell. And I think Rachel having her butt hanging out, it just went from bad to worse for her. And I think she held on much more than, than well, I would have done. I would have been out of there immediately. I couldn't have coped with that. And I think it made it very entertaining, but very inspirational. The fact that Rachel was able to get through this, this really awful situation. And the fact that Ross was there to support her. I feel like having Monica and Richard there wasn't maybe the most necessary, but it also gave us the time to focus on their conversations. So on the one hand, I feel like it was a little forced that they were there, but I can kind of understand in terms of the storytelling. But obviously, uh, Barry and Mindy's wedding is just 
a beautiful scene. The drums added such a great thing to this. Ross enhanced it. Rachel looked wonderful. And uh, obviously Jennifer Aniston gave her a really great performance in a really memorable scene. This is definitely one of the most iconic Friends episodes, one of the most final uh, or the most iconic season finales. And obviously we have some important things with Monica and Richard, Chandler and Janice. And I can't talk more about that. Looking forward to getting to season three. Season two has obviously been uh, really, really brilliant.